This is Dodger. He's a mixed breed rescue dog. Hey. And uh, this is his owner, Kim Stevens. And uh, talk to me about him. What's his weight right now? His weight is about 82 pounds right now, and he should be 62 pounds. So that's, that's so a lot of extra weight. That's a lot of, yeah, that's obese. How does this happen? How does, how does the dog become so fat? Um, too much food, not enough exercise. What do you think? You think you should eat less? You think you should get more exercise? Huh? What do you think? So we're now going to talk to a vet who's an expert at this, get some advice for Kim. OK, so this is Ernie Ward. He's a veterinarian and the head of the Association for Pet Obesity Prevention. And he's going to talk to us about what's going on with Dodger here. This is one of those cases they're deceptively obese or overweight. And you know, he's a big dog to start with. But the fact is, he's carrying a lot of extra fat here in his abdomen. And this is what gets us all in trouble. It's the belly fat that's the most dangerous, because that's the type of fat that secretes all those harmful chemicals. The foods that we're eating today are so different than what we ate 40, 50 years ago, certainly what we fed our pets. They've got more calories in a smaller amount. And the other part of the equation is, you know, we think exercise. You go, gosh, let's go walk uh, Dodger for 30 minutes. That'll burn off all that extra energy. Well, the problem is, Output does not beat input when it comes to losing weight. You are not going to get in this type of shape, Josh, if you just go exercise every day. It also has to be what you eat. OK, and what about treats during the day? Or like the, the dog learns a trick, you want to give it a little treat. How? What's the right way to reward a pet if it's not with a treat? Yeah, you know what I call tr uh, treats? What? These are calorie grenades, and they just blow up in excess weight. So we got to be careful. Think about single ingredient treats, crunchy vegetables like baby carrots, broccoli, celery, asparagus. <laughs> We got to calculate up the number of calories, and then we're going to gradually reduce those calories so that Dodger, you know, diet is not about starvation or deprivation. It's yeah. about a gradual, safe weight loss. I want you to commit, both of you to commit, to a 30-minute brisk walk per day. If you can do that, you'll see Dodger lose weight, and you'll be fitter for, yes. for, for sure. In the end, what, what do you think will be your motivation? What will motivate you to, uh, to help, help him turn around? Uh, well, I need to turn myself around, too, so we'll work together as a team. You know, just because I, because he is a really awesome dog, and I don't want to lose him. I love you. So I'm with Ernie Ward. He's a veterinarian and the founder and current head of the Association for Pet Obesity Prevention. Right. We're talking about the uh, growing problem of obesity among pets in the United States and a new report that shows more than half the pets in this country are overweight or obese. So now we have some questions from our eye reporters that I want to toss at you, okay? Yeah, great. All right, great. So here's one that uh, comes from Elizabeth Gutierrez. One cat takes food from another cat. Well, she's dealing with what we call a food bowl bully, right? So you have, we see this all the time, one fat cat in the household, one skinny cat. Number one, make sure you've got plenty of space between those two food bowls, right? So whatever you do, give them enough space. Second thing is simultaneously feed them. So that means put down the food at the same time. This is from another one of our eye reporters, Jennifer Smith. Um, she's asking, what about the addition of human food like scraps to a dog's diet? Even if it's a small amount, does that play a big role in weight gain? I'm not against feeding human foods to pets, right? I, I like whole foods, real foods whenever possible. Where we make the mistake is we give them junk food. So we're having pizza we share it with the dog. Want a hamburger? Here you go, buddy. So all those bad foods we wind up you know, feeding to our pets, that's where the real problem is. Some people are saying that they know that the animal needs to exercise, but that the animal won't do it. What do you do to inspire your animal to go this way? Talk to your veterinarian, because I can tell you right now, very few cases have I ever encountered in my 20 years that I couldn't train to walk on a leash. So it just takes a little bit of work. You have to be the boss. You're in control of the leash. Get them out there and start walking.